our first dishes have arrived. Mm. And that's my bowl of ramen. I got like a Szechuan uh, ramen, I think. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. So I'm here in Shinjuku, in front of Shinjuku Gyoen Park. I just, I just uh, kind of chilled at the park for about 30 minutes with Satoshi actually. Uh, we are going to be having lunch at one, I have to say it's currently our favorite uh, conveyor belt sushi chains and it is called Sushiro and I gotta tell you like it's it's really good the prices are super super reasonable and the sushi is very good quality and um, I don't know it, it, if you, when you guys come back to Japan I definitely recommend you guys visit this place especially if you like reasonably priced sushi hey Satoshi you ready Hi. for lunch yep Yep, yeah, I'm hungry. You're hungry. Yeah, I was just telling everybody about uh, Sushiro. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of our favorite places now ah, for sushi. It's a nice conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Right? I, I, My I, favorite place. Me too, it's our favorite right now. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video. You guys already know I love Boksu. I've been trying their snacks for over a year. We absolutely love what they offer and we always discover something new. Boksu is a subscription service that delivers authentic premium Japanese snacks to your doorstep. They deliver worldwide. There are so many reasons why we love them. One of them being that they have a specific theme every single month so you never get bored. Uh, last month, for example, they had a really cool moon festival box. Uh, it came with a sleek black, black box and lots of good snacks. This month they have Hanari Kansai which uh, features snack from one of my favorite areas in Japan, the Kansai area, which includes Osaka and Kyoto. If you're a first time customer, you'll be getting the Seasons of Japan box. That, that'll give you a taste of what's to come throughout the entire year. If this is something that interests you, make sure to click on the link in the description. Uh, you'll get 10% off your own authentic Japanese subscription box from Boksu definitely give them a try it literally feels like a snack journey through Japan don't miss out straight ahead of me uh, we are actually walking towards Shinjuku station so if you're coming from Shinjuku station you should just kind of uh, reverse but on my left side there is the Marui department store right here that's Marui department store on my right this is a Shinjuku Sanchome and actually the sushi place is uh, literally on the next block to my right and you know if you're into Godzilla this Marui department store has your name on it they have a dedicated Godzilla store inside uh, this department store that's baby Godzilla I believe and they're always having these pop-up shops like anime related pop-up shops at this particular Marui department store and on the first floor they have like a snack section where they feature snacks from all over Japan and looks like uh, Minion is a pop-up store at the moment <laughs> the reason why I started at this area because I kind of wanted to point out that shop and I also want to point out this dango shop because it's on the way uh, my mother claims that they have the best dango in Tokyo so if you like dango like mitarashi dango for example definitely check this place out and they have a variety of different dangos here that you can try out it's so right here it's called oiwake dango and this is it you can eat inside but they also have a takeout section here right now because it's the end of summer they're still offering kakigori they have amazing Kakigori, these are so good and you can get like a set like this that comes with uh, dango, tokoroten and amitsu like three very uh, typical Japanese sweets Oiwake dango, definitely recommended okay and then at that intersection we're gonna cross over to the right side do you guys like sushi by the way? I know some people don't eat raw fish and the one question I get asked a lot is 
do you have to like raw fish to enjoy sushi? Well, you would enjoy it a lot more, but they do have non-raw uh, selections as well. So hopefully I can show you some of the non-raw selections at uh, this particular uh, sushi, sushi roll uh, restaurant. Uh, this is Isetan department store. A really nice department store with an amazing food court. They're closed today. Not because of pandemic, uh, every oh, I, once a week uh, they are closed. But Sushiro is right across from Isetan on this particular street. And you know, this whole area on my right side, sorry, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick uh, look here. This is the Shinjuku Sanchome area. Um, it's a very happening place before the pandemic it's full of eateries and izakayas very good quality and reasonably priced as well this is H&M store where sometimes I do visit their, their clothing items are quite reasonably priced And Sushiro is, we're almost there. Oh, look at this store. This store has changed. It's turned into a pharmacy. I think it used to be a clothing store, but now it's a pharmacy here. Okay. That's a sign for the sushi shop called Sushiro. It's on the basement floor of this building. Here we are. This is my favorite conveyor belt sushi shop, Sushiro. Yeah, let's go inside. Since the pandemic started, things have changed. So everything has become automated. Uh, we made a reservation um, on the app and then we came in and you get one of these uh, numbers. You check in, you get one of these numbers, and then when the computer calls your number, you scan your piece of paper, and then you go to the table, it tells you to go. So we're at uh, uh, table number 37. And yeah, we're making some green tea now. So it's all do it yourself. So be careful, it's very, very hot. And you just make it as strong or weak as you like. Today, yeah. we found a very nice one. Eel. Eel. Yeah. Eel. Yes. And look at the prices, guys. It starts at 120 yen, 120 yen for two pieces of sushi. And then you have um, some selections that are 170 yen. And then the premium ones are 320 yen. Yeah, this is like all toro and stuff like that. And then you have some uh, seasonal specials here as well. And of course, you can use this. Actually, you have to use this to order sushi. Sushi that's not on the conveyor belt. And the great thing is that you can choose English if you want. So we'll choose English. Oops. We are now changing the language environment to English. Please wait for a moment. Oh, there we go. And then you have limited time special, special gourmet. You have nigiri, gunkan maki, desserts and drinks, side menus, and noodles and soups. So we we'll go for nigiri here. And look at this. Say if you're looking for um, like eel, you press this. And then you have a selection of like uh, the concrete eel tempura. You have grilled eel, you have cooked concrete eel, you have premium grilled congre eel and you have uh, four different types of squid here as well and you even have more selections here oh gosh so many selections i don't know which one oh this one double chew toro for 120 yen let's get two of those so this is it this is the gourmet tuna chew toro And you press that once you have your order ready. 
but we want to order more. Oh, nagi da, kabebi, kabebi. Okay, that's the maximum. Okay. So you cannot order all at once. The nika maximum ga sukuna kanata. Thank you for ordering. So we just wait here until our order comes to our table on the conveyor belt. What is that? That's salt? This is wasabi. If you want wasabi, make sure you take some here. Our first dishes have arrived. Yeah, the machine is smart because it arrives exactly at your seat. So this is 120 yen for this plate here. This is chu toro or medium fatty tuna. It's an amazing price. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Wasabi. Yeah. This uh, sushi comes with no wasabi. That's so that children can eat. So you have to put the wasabi in yourself. And this is your gari or the pickle ginger is in here wasabi a little bit of wasabi put the um nice sushi and hold mm, good oh yeah the fish is so good yeah is it fresh it's well, of course it's fresh, it's mm. always fresh here. Greba is very distinctive maguro, good maguro taste. Mm. Okay, I'm hungry now. I can't believe this is only 120 yen. Yeah. I know, this place is so amazing. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Just enough fat on it. Mm. So much good tuna flavor. Oh, shit. My second piece of maguro. Chu toro. Oh, shit. Our unagi has arrived. But my unagi. Okay, that looks prettier. Mine, the piece of unagi kind of like slipped off the rice. Unagi, unagi. Wow, when is that? When is the last time I ate unagi? I don't know. The last, the last time we came to Sushiro, yeah. maybe. Mm. Oh my God, that looks so good. You can tell it's good sushi. Mm. You can tell by Satoshi's face, you know. Unagi is probably. One of my favorite nigiri the sheep, definitely top five. So good. Mm. Okay, let's let's polish off this uh, plate and let's order more sushi. Good. What? What? There's one piece of nori. How can I eat this? I don't know. How do you eat this? This is a negi toro. That's a double tataki mi so. Oh, okay. So it's tuna. Tuna. Like uh, chopped up tuna with uh, green onions. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Good. The sushi roll makes very good sushi rice. The what? Sushi roll makes very good sushi rice. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. The way they flavor the sushi rice is yeah. very good. It's so good. Yeah, it really is. Okay, time to order more food. I love this. This is a fish egg with um, uh, kombu seaweed and some katsubushi uh, bonito flakes. This is amaebi for Satoshi. 
salmon for you as well. So big. I, oh wow. So big. The kind of, how much was this? 120. 120 yen. That's wow, that's an incredible price. Okay, let's try the meatball. <laughs> Sugoi. I wonder what this is gonna taste like. I wonder what sauce this is. It's a sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Sour. Sweet and sour, like amazu sauce. Oh, amazu. Not bad. Not bad. I don't love it though. The, the meatball is just okay. You know? <laughs> I think the meatball is like chicken meatball. Yeah, it tastes like chicken. Good for, chi good for kids, I think. Who don't who who don't like to eat raw fish? Amaibi, amaibi, shrimp. So amaibi, this is a sweet shrimp and it's raw. Mm -hmm. I personally don't like uh, raw shrimp, so I don't eat this. Oh. This is a uh, saba. Oh, sorry. This is mackerel with uh, onion, sliced onions. Soy sauce. Yeah. <gasps> sushi rolls sushi is yes, easy to separate. Mm -hmm. so, I guess soy yes, sauce. It's true. Mm. Oishi? It's a pretty big piece of shrimp, I gotta <laughs> say. And the shrimp look really juicy and fresh. Is it bouncy? Plumpy. Plumpy? Mmm. Puri puri. Mm. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Also. Salmon. Salmon. I love salmon. Salmon sushi. Yeah, me too. I think so, I'll get that. The easy next. Separate. <laughs> yes. So if you go to like high-end sushi bars, uh, they actually mold the sushi. But here they kind of just place the fish on top of the rice. So the rice and the topping very easily separate. This salmon is also fresh. Yeah. No fishiness. Mm. I wish I could taste more salmon flavor. Really? Mm. Okay. I love saba, by the way. Love, love, love. Takimas. Mm. 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 The saba is marinated in a little bit of vinegar. So it's very refreshing. So fresh. The onions go perfectly with the saba. The saba is a little fatty. Mm. There's myoga on the top. I love myoga, you know, the Japanese ginger. Mm. Oh, she I might get another plate of this. <laughs> I think the unagi and this saba is my favorite so far for today. The one I don't really recommend is the meatball. Mm. I love this shrimp. Yeah. This ebi shrimp is really good. Mm. <laughs> so this is um, shrimp avocado with uh, sliced onions and mayo on the top. This is. Again, one of those that's not raw. So this is something, if you can eat shrimp, you can definitely eat. Yeah. Usually I don't order this, but I ordered it for, for those of you who don't like raw fish. Mm. Oh, shit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good actually. As you can see, this restaurant is pretty spacious, lots of uh, seating. Yeah, very comfortable and there's more seating on the other side of the conveyor belt as well. Okay, so that's a shrimp and there's crab in here and this is tartar sauce. So this is one of their uh, monthly specials. Let's see what this tastes like. Oops. It's 
interesting. It's good, but maybe because it's a tartar sauce, it doesn't feel like I'm eating sushi. So it's good, but I feel like I'm eating a sandwich for some reason. It tastes like a sandwich, like a egg salad shrimp sandwich. It's good, but not my favorite. It's pistachio. Pistachio with what? Uh, crab, imitation crab. Imitation crab with pistachio. Mm -hmm. Kani salada. How oh, interesting. Uh, I've never eaten pistachio sushi. Yeah, me neither. Pistachio sushi. How is it? This place gets really creative mm. with their sushi. Mm. Mm. It works. Does it work? First, the texture is interesting. Okay. Second, it works. Really? Mm. Can you taste the pistachio? Really? It matches the crab. Uh, what is this? It's a scallop. scallop. Potate. I love scallop. Really, I like scallop. It's pretty. It's glistening. It's shiny. It looks very fresh. Iyo, tabete iyo. Good. Let's see. Oh, here's mine. You got natto. Healthy. I love natto. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. So no no soy sauce or anything, just like that. Once I I want to eat other things. Okay. So you can you taste the natto. <laughs> I don't. I think some people don't like natto. Mm. Good natto. Yeah. Jumbo toro salmon. Jumbo toro salmon. This is pre. Uh, how much was this? One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. Mm. But this one is just one piece because this piece. This salmon, toro, yes. toro, expensive. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Did you guys know you can also get noodles here? I got ramen. Satoshi got ramen too. I got a spicy ramen. Oh, this is yours. This is the Hokkaido ramen. Check it out. Hokkaido ramen. There's potatoes, there's corn. I think that's uh, maybe karaage? Zangi? Zangi? Green onions? What's that? It's 280 yen. It's quite inexpensive. But the noodles here are pretty good. Oh, and that's my bowl of ramen. I got like a Szechuan uh, ramen, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> What's this? this? <laughs> what? What's this? <laughs> that's so interesting. Oh, my ramen smells good. Oh. Mm. Mm. Take this shot, it's nice. Yeah. Mm. How about soup? Mm. Is it miso? Ah. Show you? Mm. Miso. Miso. Mm. Miso ramen. Maybe miso is under. Okay. Yeah. What is that? The, the red thing there. It's raw. Uh, is it ikura? ikura? No. Can you try Some it? kind of egg. Yeah. Like tarako. Bigger tarako. Yes. Ikura kind. Ikura, like ikura. Hey. Ikura kind. Interesting. Kind of like ikura. Zangi, which is Hokkaido uh, karaage fried chicken. Is it fried chicken? Maybe it's scallop. Oh, this one is scallop. Scallop. It's mm. scallop. Ah, otake da. Oh. A real scallop, right? Yep. Okay. And that's uh, scallop too or is it fried chicken? Oh, it's scallop! 
Wow, two scallops. Hey, you got two wow, pieces of scallop. Two Aren't you I happy? You really love scallop. Yes. Mm. Okay, so my Sichuan noodles. Okay, looks like uh, there are some uh, clams in here. What are these things? And it's like a milky soup. You know, I'm gonna try some of the soup first. Oh, that's good. It has like Chinese peppercorn taste and also a little numbing flavor. What's this here? Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Is it one ton? One ton. Yeah, I think it's one ton. Okay. Looks like shrimp one ton. Okay, let's try. That's a big piece of shrimp inside the wonton. This is good. Oh, mm. it's good, huh? This is much better. Yeah, than miso. much better than the miso mm. one. Can I? Can I eat noodles? Yep. Mm. Mm. The tea up. The meat mm -hmm. is really good. Good, yeah. All right, guys. Right now, uh, the restaurant's busy, and we just got notified that we've been here for an hour. So it says, please hurry up and eat and get out of here. You want to finish eating? See you outside. Okay, time to pay. So we just scan this. We drop it in here. The total is 3,828 yen. Oh, and by the way, you can also do uh, uh, telephone ordering. You can order sushi with your uh, app or a telephone and then you just pick up your sushi here. Sorry, in his generation, telephone order was normal. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, now, yes, sorry, not telephone order. Mobile app order. Sorry. Alright guys, so that was a nice meal. We are stuffed, but I don't know about you. When it comes to dessert, it's different. I always have space for a little bit of dessert. Usually after sushi, the best dessert, at least for me, is a piece of fresh fruit or gelato or ice cream. So hopefully we can find some ice cream. The ice cream place that, that we used to uh, frequent often uh, went out of business recently so let's see if we can find a, another place that sells ice cream or gelato so if you're wondering where we are we are on the south exit of Shinjuku station and this is where uh, Takashimaya department store and Tokyo hands is located it's over here. This is Takashimaya department store. And this is a nice place. You have a lot of us uh, seating here, free seating. You can bring your bento here and watch the trains go by. Obviously, one of Satoshi's favorite places. Isn't this nice? There's Shinjuku Station here. <laughs> long time ago maybe a year ago we made a video on these vending machines right here these set of vending machines this whole area you have a lot of uh, plants really nicely landscaped thank you for waiting <laughs> and there's a nice uh Dean and De Luca store there with the eat-in area. Nice bakery over there. A nice bakery over there. It's a really nice place. Yeah, look at the sky. It's such a beautiful day, guys. We have decided on a place. We're gonna go to Shake Shack. That's right. We're not gonna be eating a, a burger or anything. We're gonna go have uh, one of their uh, ice cream. 
is they call their ice creams concrete, I believe. Frozen concrete or something like that. Or frozen custard, I can't remember. But yeah, they have nice outdoor seating there. So we're gonna go there and get some dessert. This particular Starbucks is nice because there's lots of outdoor seating. Uh, the Tokyo branch of Egg Slut, well, Shinjuku branch is over there. And Shake Shack is located on this street, at the end of this street, on your right side. I don't know if I told you this before, but uh, Shake Shack cheeseburger, one of my favorite cheeseburgers. Probably, at least for me, best cheeseburger in Japan. Now this is very silly of me, but I used to like to purposely choose this road here, this small little street here. Even though I could just stay on that street over there with Satoshi, I would on purpose choose this path just because I found it. I still find it very nice. Okay, and then we have a Tim Ho Wan here. Tim Ho Wan is from Hong Kong and uh, they, I think they uh, have a Michelin star at their Hong Kong branch of the restaurant. But here in Japan, Tim Ho Wan is also quite popular. And it's great because they also have outdoor seating as well. And then Shake Shack. Here's a sign to Shake Shack. It's right at the end of this path, this street. And here we are at Shake Shack. See, I like this one because there's a lot of outdoor seating here. Of course, if it's raining or if it's too hot, there's ample indoor seating as well. So no worries. Okay, let's go get some ice cream. So, the ice cream here is called Concrete. They have the Shack Attack and the Rainbow Connection. Here, these are new. The eight avocado bacon burger and chicken and chicken bites. These are brand new. They didn't have these before. But yeah, my favorite has to be the cheeseburger here. Hi right, guys, here's our Concrete. This one is the Rainbow Connection. And this one is a chocolate one. Looks good. These are 660 yen each, so quite pricey. But you know what? They're absolutely worth it. So this is a chocolate one. Uh, this is like chocolate chunks, chocolate sauce, chocolate ice cream, chocolate brownies. Did I already say chocolate brownies? Anyway, itadakimasu. Hits that spot. Hits the spot. It's so creamy and it's so chocolatey. I love the, the chunky bits of brownies in here, the chocolate sprinkles. Mm. Alright, guys, sorry. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So Satoshi's already eaten half of his Rainbow <laughs> Connection. Rainbow so Connection, sorry. strawberry jam, and some kind of cakey tikku thing and vanilla ice cream with sprinkles, mm. rainbow colored sprinkles. Looks festive. This one is Shinjuku only. Yeah, Shinjuku only. 5% yeah. goes to some kind of charity, yep. I think. Yeah. Mm. That looks mm. good. Save me a bite, save mm. me a bite. The tang, yes. Orb and strawberry mm. has a good contrast with this vanilla ice cream. And the cake, cake thing, I don't know, it is like bread <laughs> bread like the bread like it's bready texture mm -hmm. really so mm -hmm. it's not like japanese sponge cake it's not japanese cake interesting mm -hmm. well it looks good well i'm glad i got the chocolate one today i felt like chocolate i felt like eating something chocolatey all right guys we are heading back home uh we had a really nice lunch we had a nice dessert it was a great afternoon <laughs> had a really good time and hope you guys enjoyed watching as well uh, once again don't forget to check out the link in the description check out boksu if you're interested in trying out the best japanese snacks anyway see you guys on my next video bye bye these things these projections on the on the ground here that says urakori look at that i love that i, I love how they kept that they combined it with uh, the new 